discover with Sally. Hi hey guys, welcome to another one. Um, today I have another one of my friends, the beautiful Naledi. <laughs> I almost introduced myself before I was introduced. <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Um, so today, guys, we'll be doing makeup. Ooh, yeah, the yeah. just the basic version, though. Um, right. I'll be learning because, girl, my tata ding my tata. We're all learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, what's the first thing? Well, the first thing is that you're supposed to have taken a bath. Okay, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking, but... <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Take a bath, all right? And then apply lotion on your face. And then we, we, you have to use a face primer before mm -hmm. you put on makeup so that it stays... There's a layer between your skin mm -hmm. and the makeup. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have a primer here by Maybelline. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know when I when I'm watching these these uh YouTube uh tutorial tutorials. Oh, okay, um, oh, let me see. Jesus. No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. They put it on the faces. Mm. Okay. Oh they they So I should do the same now. Yes, 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 just After you have uh, used uh, your face primer, at, it's at this stage where um, you can decide. Uh, some people first put a base foundation and this um, corrective. Uh, have you seen this thing that they used to correct spots? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. See, I see another concealer. No, oh, there's, there's, a there's another corrector. one. Yes. There's oh, the orange corrector. one. The orange ish one. Yes. Mm. Orange reddish one. That's yeah. Or people like me start first with the eyebrows because I feel like if your brows are on point, then the other the other part of the face will just come together okay. there. So the first thing I do is usually just brush my eyebrows. Yeah, so. that's where I have a problem because I feel like I have this weird um, brows, like they're too much here, too little. It's weird. You just um, brush them so that they look they. they um, maintain their normal shape basically, mm. but TV is great. So, I'm gonna use this as a mirror, okay? So, I usually uh brush upwards first, up, 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 everything, take up, take up, take okay. up, and then from there, you're gonna curve it like that. You see, wait, it's a hard up, 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 like that. And then you just curve. Yeah, oh. just curve on top. Like you have nice brows, like they're obedient. Yeah. Eyebrows. <laughs> Sometimes. Mine are. So the reason for me why I brush them going upwards is because I want to maintain the, the, the normal, the normal. Um, mm. line below them. Give one a night color guy and stuff. Naturally like that. It's because I wanna howl in the front, mm -hmm. like they go a different direction, so this I want to go up. Uh, uh, see, so if they don't entirely go up, because where you legit need them to go up is just here at the beginning, because the rest of the eyebrow you're going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just. Like that. Yeah. Awesome. Right. right, and then after that, that's where I come up by. Essence cover stick. It's a concealer as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have two. This is the one I showed you is the old one. So this is the new one that they okay. have. So at this uh, stage, there isn't. Uh, oh wait, before before the concealer, I forgot, guys. So, um, eyeliner. I use brown because my face is. Mm -hmm. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain line and any kibuaka right below your eyebrows. Like just so I can use this one. Yeah. I, I think you should just sharpen it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what you want to do is humatisa your eyeliner below your natural bro. Like okay. Just for that. Nothing below, nothing on top, just below. Huh. Okay. Try as much as possible to make it thin but visible. We born. So you can do it all in a way. We born. Let me just watch you first. Just All right. right. Just below. Yeah. Yeah. Below it like that. Okay. Just so that you can see it. Where Bonnie, can you see where yeah, where it where it is? And then um some people who have nice eyebrows, yeah, they just how about the Tahu Dryer, the, the line below, they just fill in the gaps. If uh -huh. you look at my eyebrow, you'll see that there's already a gap right here. Yeah. They just fill it in. But what I usually do is I get another line on top. Now, for me, the line on top helps me to pick a shape of the eyebrow okay. because I can choose to just go straight until where my brow naturally curves uh -huh. or I oh, can extend. extend it. Um, I think your, your, your pencil is longer. I want to do this. Show you something. Okay, it's fine. I'll use this brush because what you want to do is that when you do this, I want, mm -hmm. I want to wear here, this here, it's supposed to be where uh, okay vag with your bro. See here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here, here. So because I, I do my eyebrows a lot, I, somehow know no. where it is but if you're unsure just check like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. right so after the line below let's do the one on top hey lord jesus i like this bro better than this one this one is a problem you will see so you <laughs> You, so good the line do i start it from the beginning beginning couple the somewhere beginning. in the middle no the, the beginning, beginning of your bro yeah and then you on top what you want to maintain is the closer to your natural eyebrows the mm -hmm. better yeah but it's fine if it's still thick at this point as you can see mine is very thick uh concealer will help us shape that down properly so aha uh -huh, what you did this side after you draw the line on top hmm. you feel in the parts where you you like more than little gap like here for example okay so I didn't do the second eye. Ugh. Let me start with it. Line below and line on top. So you feel a fella more than in gap. You yes. don't color no, in no, the no, way no. over no. the home. <laughs> no. Because the reason why you don't color in yeah. when you have a when you have uh this kind of eyebrow, eyebrow that has this, mm. eyebrow pencil that has this, or um, some have this. Oh, no, not this one. There's another one that I saw somewhere. Let me see. Well, there's a spirally thing that people yeah, use internal air. Uh -huh. If you because when you have that, you don't necessarily you, you come with it. Maybe. How it's was that, Jenan? It just colors everything in for oh, you. It blends it, it in. It blends it in for you. Yeah. It even makes it natural. You're good? I don't know. You tell me. It's... We'll use concealer too. Because this one, I believe your lines are uh, in order. This the side. other one, they're not. So we'll mm. use concealer and then we'll just correct that. So I just brush it in to blend. Yeah, to it. blend. And the good thing about this stage is that uh when you feel like uh there's there's more like your your eyebrows are too dark mm. and darker than you'd want them yeah you can easily just uh wipe the beginning part of your brow and come in again with the brush to blend mm -hmm. until the color is what you want it to be basically Scylla, i use this one and she's using the pro conceal, pro -conceal. yeah so I think the Pro Conceal has a as a, a a brush a, a thingy. Okay, yes. Let me see. Yeah. It has, no, it, it has this. Ugh, my hands are turned around. It has this part oh, that okay. people usually. But then now what I used mm -hmm. what I used to do is just put it on my hand. Yeah. And then use the use this <laughs> yeah. the brow liner just to 
because it's right. a sun or a bonnet. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it has a, the shape helps yeah, yeah. you. Okay, so the same thing we did with the pencil when we started. You start below your eyebrow to maintain that shape. So the thing is, I'm never straight when it goes there. I feel like that's my problem. Just follow your eyebrow. Happy, you are allowed to make mistakes. Like you can always come back to rectify it. Okay. Yes. This is the bottom part, and then do the upper part of the same eye. But is mine fine? I... No. This yeah. is how I start. I look weird. Oh wow, it looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Me, who is very minimalistic with my makeup, mm. I use a, 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 a concealer that's a tone higher than mine. As you can see, I'm not. Mm. So that it works as a... Um, I don't use... There's a... You know that stage makeup when they get there, they say they're baking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't bake. Uh -huh. However, the concealer helps to, to brighten the parts the that part. I want to brighten. Uh -huh, okay. That's why you can have a lighter uh, concealer. And then if you're going to use foundation or powder, then that can be your, your color. Mm. So that everything blends well. But your your cheeks and like above your brows here, mm. just below the temples and here and your nose are highlighted properly. And I always say that in makeup, you are allowed to make mistakes. You can't be perfect. True. And when you see that, okay, I don't like this eyebrow, change it. Don't say because in the tutorial, you didn't see the lady. <laughs> she did once and she was done. Yeah. Change it until you see what you're supposed to see. So tell me, when you started doing makeup, like, uh -huh. what do you feel like was your motivation? motivation? I, I don't want to lie. The pressure was a lot. Hmm. Um, I went to a school where um, I would fit in more, especially at varsity, mm. um, I would fit in more as part of the guys than the girls because the girls were always made up. Like it never made sense. Where do they get the time to do their <laughs> the full phase and go to the lectures at 8 a.m.? Mm. Like mm. how? how? How did that happen? Yeah. You know, so initially it was peer pressure. Mm. And then after a while, uh, I think I, I asked someone to help me learn how to put makeup and how to apply it properly. Yeah. And she she did my face. She didn't teach me. She just did, did my face. face. And from what she was doing, I was like, okay, you know what? I think I like this. I think I like the way okay, you, these are. Because for me, it was just, I feel like curiosity. I just wanted yeah, to see to how I'd look. Yeah. Not that I wasn't, I wanted to cover. Because I guess yeah. some people use it to. Cover. cover up whatever insecurity yeah, they have yeah true true uh for me it was just i just want to see how it look with makeup also when you go to these camps and stars and stuff ah, yes. people get made up like, <laughs> people are prim and proper you're just you like it's no guys i want to be part right i understand I be makeup part. elevates your outfit exactly in a way. like if you do it properly it, it, you can use it in a positive way to make a, a statement. Some people here will blend out the concealer first and then add their foundations or whatever. So what I do because I am a concealer girl, um, I guilty as touched. <laughs> me, foundation is not for me. I only use it on really good days. So what mm. I do because I said my foundation is a, a, a tone lighter than me, mm. I now use it as to contour and to highlight my face basically. What are the points? Yeah. Yeah, cheekbones here. Do I need to? No. I was watching a video and the guy said that we need to be realistic. When you mm. do this, you're and not you do like that. This yeah. All the time. Your skin is gonna drop. Mm. So don't do that. Like put like keep a straight face and just apply. Because when you do faces, the skin is gonna go back to its normal state and it's gonna look wrong. Mm. Yeah. And he was making an example with a cat eye that when you pull your skin back like this and with a cat eye, mm. as soon as you let go of your skin, it doesn't, it no Nothing. longer sits the same. So at this juncture, mm -hmm. you can blend everything out like this without using foundation. Okay. You can or you cannot. Okay. Uh, makeup hits, you'll crucify me, but it works for me. <laughs> you can legit just. Yeah, yeah. So for for purposes of now, we're just gonna use concealer only, and then I'll use foundation. Uh, as a contour here, here, in the temples of my head, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's use, let's just 
um, use the concealer and see how it would look because mm. I know it works. You want to cover your whole eyelid mm -hmm. so that even when you want to apply eyeshadow, like I said, it's easier and it sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so you know, there's this presumption that you know, girls buy their makeup, they do it to get some sort of approval mm -hmm. from guys. Mm -hmm. What's your view on that? I know. Um, I will say this. First of all, makeup is expensive. Mm. Second of all, makeup is an acquired skill and 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 an acquired taste. Mm. Now, if I am going to waste my money. <laughs> And develop a skill. Mm. Hi for a guy. Guys, if it didn't cost money, mm. then I would low key say, okay, probably there are those who yeah. use makeup. And the one thing, maybe it's just the guys I have met, mm. but they are so anti makeup. Like, mm. they don't like makeup. They're on some, why are you using makeup? Da 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 da. You know, so why would I do makeup for such a For person? them. No, I understand. Yeah. But I do understand that stereotype because it's very, um, it's a common stereotype. Yeah. And it looks like it, but if we actually take time to, to think about this, most guys don't even like makeup. Mm. So why would, if this the, the same guys we are trying to cook, mm. why would we do that to ourselves? True, true. Also, do you feel like some people just do makeup for social um, approval, I will say? Yes. Um, like I said, when I started, I, that's that's the main reason why I started with makeup. Mm, mm. I, that's what I was looking for. Mm. But um, I then later realized that, no, this is something I actually like. You like. And if I like it, I should do it properly. I should learn it for myself and whatever. Mm. So right now I look really weird. But... <laughs> The reason why I said I use concealers because I, I, I don't bake because yeah. usually people after they bake, this is how they look. Yeah, yeah. Now, all of this is going to make sense after I contour. Do you feel like social media, especially Instagram, has mm -hmm. an influence on how we look at ourselves without makeup? Um, listen, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. I feel like we can, we can, we can argue about it all we want that oh my gosh we know we look nice yes we know we look we, nice mm. we, we know we look nice without makeup but let's be honest and face the truth that mm. instagram has a, a, a certain impact on how we view ourselves mm. especially with regards to makeup mm. yeah. also there's a there's a look that, of luxury and sophistication that, that makeup gives you and you, you feel like when you're posting without makeup it kind of it's out it, it looks out of place true like a ghost <laughs> that's where the, the 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 contouring is going to help mm. because after a while after you've contoured um you'll find that you have highlighted the place that you actually need mm. to be highlighted and not everywhere okay hence eliminating the ghost like look <laughs> I have white spots on my face. I do not correct them, so don't mm -hmm. wonder what these spots are. Where's the other one? Here. Mm -hmm. It's just my skin. So with the with the with the foundation, what I did is since it's my tone, mm -hmm. I just used it to fill the parts that we did not use concealer on. Because like you're saying, concealer will make you look ghost like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you use the, the, the normal foundation to kind of bring your colour back to life here. Mm -hmm. And the temples of your head and here just it's above like, where just you above put. yes mm. and then you just make sure everything blends out like there are two different colors they need to come together as well happy there's something about instagram that um i believe the people we follow the people yeah. we hold in high regard on instagram do use makeup now it's hard to view them and say wow they look pretty and then go look at yourself in the mirror and say well I know I look pretty without makeup, yeah, but I can but do better. Is it socially acceptable? You know. You know. But yeah, hey, I don't know. I think makeup is a complicated topic. You need to do it for the right reasons. Because mm. otherwise, with the likes of Instagram, Facebook... I feel like, I don't know, it shouldn't be a bad thing that you use makeup to no. cover up such insecurities. I don't know why people use it. Like, if you have bad spots, yeah, make and then make yourself yeah, look presentable uh -huh. because all of us are covering something and, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. whether it's with clothes, clothes uh -huh. we wear, uh -huh. you know, the black to make uh -huh. us look uh -huh. a little slimmer uh -huh. and stuff right, like that. Right. And it's fine. It is. It shouldn't it is be fine. like a, a thing. Yeah, 
Because I always say that makeup has the same impact as clothes. Mm. We're all just trying to cover up something. True. Completes the look. Same. Thank like, you. like the way a scarf would or you some know, accessories would. Would, exactly. Powder. Mm. Um, what are the parts again? It's the cheeks. Yeah, mostly. just here, here, and then just blend everything. Sort together. of like the way you'd put how big. Yes. The places. The more places you put when you bake. That's the places where I put powder and then just blend everything together. Because what On I top like. Of the yeah. What I like about powder is that, uh, especially the one that's my skin tone, when I have used concealer as my way of highlighting my face, mm. it doesn't necessarily block it yeah yeah it just makes everything come together so let's talk about the importance of skincare under makeup skincare is very important yeah in fact knowing your skin even before the makeup mm. um if you react badly to 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 a certain brand uh. stop, don't use it like yeah. leave it you don't want to do that to your skin and also um that's why i said before you apply makeup you need to bath like do better for your skin <laughs> do better for your skin oh, skin care start does not start from the primer and yeah. the nice things you know even removing makeup you need to 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 take care of your skin mm. don't over exfoliate don't mm. over remove the makeup mm. you know so but do you did you have skin problems or you've always had like no i don't i've never had skin problems mm. this is why i i don't like advising people on makeup because my skin is like a cheat yeah yeah it, yeah. it doesn't have problems same 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 no. it's because people ask what what do you do to your skin i'm like i don't really have there's no particular <laughs> routine i do, do i i just use the simplest of stuff on my skin you literally get me like so don't overcomplicate it. And obviously, if you do have like skin breakouts and stuff, you need to consult the doctor before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. applying certain stuff so they, they know that yeah. your skin is like it's getting. Like getting, exactly. And I also believe a lot, let's, let's be realistic. We know what makeup does when it gets to the skin. Sometimes mm. it clogs your pores. Mm. Allow your skin to breathe. Um, don't uh, apply makeup today, maybe tomorrow, and be as minimalistic as possible if you can mm. to avoid uh, uh, clogging your, your, your skin pores. Mm. Yeah. And wash your Please. the makeup off Please. at the end of Please. the day. Wash it, but while you're washing it, while you're at it, do not over exfoliate because we dry our skin ourselves, mm. and then after you get rid of... What's over exfoliate though? Over exfoliating is so probably I'll use my 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 uh, soap and wash the face and then after washing there are these uh, uh, routines whereby people use I've seen somebody mix um, oil and sugar and like lemon mm. and then put on their face so and just use the sugar acts as a as a, a mm. natural exfoliator mm. other people use products that actually exfoliate mm. so they will use their product wash it off there are these uh, equipments that people use to wash their face to mm. scrub it use that and then like there's so many things that we use on our faces mm. whereas just pick one yeah you know wash with soap simple. and then exfoliate once and then yeah and exfoliation is not for every day exactly you can't you do it ways exfoliate. once twice a week exactly once, yeah. because your skin will get dry yeah. and makeup is already something that dries the that skin dries. so mm. do makeup particularly just keep it here nothing beyond my brush here there should not be any eyeshadow to be seen yeah. below this point Except yeah. in the extreme case, I give the oh yeah, there's avant garde, mm. yeah. Unless that's what you're going for, yeah, yeah, you know. And also with makeup, be specific, like be be particular about what you're doing. If that was the look you were going for, sis, that's the look you are going yeah. for. So long as it works, basically. So you blend. What I've realized is that if you look at this palette like this, mm. somehow. They've already shown you which colors low key go with what. Do you oh. understand? If you wanna stay safe, the you are sure that this is 
Do you understand? Yeah. These two are not too far from each other. These two, okay, these ones are a bit far, but you can try and use you can... this one to counter this one. Mm. So you see, there's always a strong color put next to a sort mm. of weaker color. Mm. So you use the strong color, and then the other one will just be there to pop everything the, out the, together, mm, okay. to blend everything together. And let's avoid using two strong colors unless they really complement each other. Okay. Yeah. Strong color and then... Um, yeah, okay. I, I would advise start with your strong color mm -hmm. and then come again to counter it with a color it's a Milan and Leon. Okay. Yeah. But in society, how do you think um, beauty is, is seen? Hmm. Uh, yo, society is a very weird place to Complex. be in. Complicated. Um, at some point, beauty standards ranged from being light skinned. Uh -huh. At some point, I know in our country, particularly, uh -huh. being dark skinned was a huge flex. Um, so beauty standards really. And now we're in an age where, okay, I'm glad. But before we got here, uh -huh. we were in an age where your beauty is just based on your face. Mm. You either have yeah, it's your face. If you're pretty, everything you're pretty. about you needs. You mm. understand. But now I'm glad we're in an age whereby beauty is no longer defined by the color of your skin or the you know your teeth. Of course, mm. you can have beautiful teeth, but <laughs> that's not oh, the wow. point. You know, your body type. Mm. I mean, big girls like us used to feel like ish gay. What we're is not it? Pretty. Do you understand? We're not pretty, mm. but no, being pretty is. A whole multifaceted uh, space. Mm. A society plays a huge role in, in it. Detail. But the thing is, they keep changing, and yes. it's it's very confusing. Yes. So this is why you need to empower yourself first, mm -hmm. because society will always find something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Especially, I believe when we're female, and I will say this with a disclaimer that I have never been male, so I do not understand your struggles. So mm -hmm. please don't get offended. <laughs> but being a female for yeah. these uh, small years of my life, <laughs> I can tell you that there's yeah. nothing more complicated, especially when it comes to beauty. Mm. Because if you don't empower yourself, if you don't tell yourself first that you're pretty, mm. listen, somebody will come and tell you how ugly you are. And then in the same mm. minute, somebody will come and say you're pretty. So you have to know yourself. You have to be comfortable mm. in with your yourself. own skin with yeah. yourself. Yeah, this past year I've really discovered that, you know what? If something is not coming from within you, then you're going to be easily shaken. Yes. So just know, Hore, you define your own beauty yes. standard. And yeah. if you are the standard in your eyes, yeah. then you are the thing. You are, you, you know? know. I've also seen something with regards to beauty being from the inside. Mm -hmm. Is that pick a day and just be grumpy for no reason. Mm -hmm. You're going to look the ugliest on that day. <laughs> like... A trust, but just be yeah. grumpy. Even mm -hmm. people who know you to be pretty or good looking, mm -hmm. they will tell you that, okay, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed this mm -hmm. morning. What's happening? You know, and but when you feel good, this is where I'm getting it is when you feel good, mm -hmm. you absolutely will. You should, you, you know, because yeah. I was going to ask, um, I don't know if it's a personality thing, mm -hmm. but do you seem very like a very confident? I person. think um, <laughs> um, contrary to popular belief, yeah. it does not come like that. It mm. does not come easy like that. Mm. Yeah. So what basically happens is um, because I I am a very shy person. Yeah. Okay. But I don't exude shyness like you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And it's because being shy, you get trampled on. Yeah. But about born, man. Yeah. Like people just don't. You understand? Mm. I had to learn that. Yes, you are shy. We get it. But if you're going to make it in this world, you, you need, need to, to pack that shyness in. Like, if I need to talk to you for something, I have to talk to you. Mm. I can't put it aside. Like, confidence is something. Okay, some people are born with it. Yeah. Some of us had to learn how to. And shame when I was learning, I wasn't saying I'm learning how to be confident. <laughs> I was just going to get what I need. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. If I need to walk in a room, I need to walk in a room and command respect. Yeah. And I can't do that being, and there's nothing wrong with being timid, mm. but I am a very competitive person. So I needed to, to, to walk in places and compete. Mm. So 
I couldn't, I needed to, to, to show up, arrive and show up and be present and be there. That's how I, I guess I exude confidence. But like I was saying, um, every day before I walk out of the house, you pump yourself. I pump myself up. I'm like, girl, you got this. You're beautiful. You are smart. You, you are, you are a whole package. And yeah, I feel like I'm working on that, like trying to yeah, pump, pump myself. myself. It's just that when I get to the actual people, it's like, <laughs> even when you, I feel like, like when I get in front of, when I get where people are, yeah, mm. I get overwhelmed very mm. easily. But I, it's you, you reel yourself in, and it mm. takes time to be able to talk to yourself and say, yes, you are around people, you are fine, you are okay. They're just people like you yeah. walking. For me, I, I found like I I just don't want like you were saying you are um, a competitor, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like competition. For me, I I'm trying to get out of that mindset because Linda, I'm a competitor. When I get there, mm-hmm. I want to be the best, and when I mm-hmm. find someone is not the best, mm-hmm. like I'm not the best somewhere. Yes, yes, that's yes, what yes. I meant. Yeah, like my confidence goes. Shh, I understand. You that. get. So I, I find that, you know what, I should just trust in what I know I have. And it doesn't matter who says what. Mm, mm, mm. Just... It's... it's it's um, At some point, you need to know that there will always be someone bigger than you. I think that's where the mm. aspect of humility will come. Mm. Because sometimes we over pump ourselves mm. and then I'm too overconfident. Now I'm coming and I'm arrogant and I'm overstepping boundaries mm. because... I'm mm. feeling like that. But you have to be humble enough to know that. Yes, I am amazing. Mm. But there's someone who's more amazing than me. True. true and true, also, true. being amazing means... When I say I'm amazing, I mean in my lane, in my... Wherever I'm working, I am... Be who you think you are. If you think you're amazing, mm. be amazing. Mm. And it will help even the esteem. Just be it. If you are smart... Be, be smart. It. Be it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Because thinking it and ending there, mm. yeah, no, it's not be good. the best. Don't mm. show, don't be, I am the best. I I am the best. No, 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 no. Just be, be it. Be. be. Just be. be don't. It. And kind of who was saying this, that once you start saying, I think it's Pearl in the last video, mm-hmm. if you start saying something, oh, I'm the man, I'm this, I'm that. Oh, no. It's in another video. Yeah. But if you start saying those things, then you don't really believe them. You don't have to say them to prove them. If you start saying, I'm right, a man, right. are you a man? Um, uh, there's a saying... phrase is so to that I love <laughs> so much. Uh, mm. It means the same thing, but it basically says, um, mm. it's like, it's, you're supposed to be told mm. because you are now doing this mm. thing. You are being a man. You are being a woman. Mm. Then, Rather than saying, oh, I'm a man. Oh, mm. I'm a woman. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I'm this. We must see it. Right. And we will tell you, you are that. Exactly. So we're all born with confidence inside of us. Mm. We just have to unlock our potential and bring it outside. I, f- I feel like the issue is belief for mm, me. Mm, mm, mm. Because, fine, all of us have a whole lot when you're kids. You know, you have this amazing confidence. You, you know? Mm-hmm. Nothing really gets to you. Yeah. But then you start believing the things people tell you, and yeah. then you start listening yourself and listening yourself and listening yeah. yourself. But if you believe that you are amazing, then those things won't really right. get to you the way they should or not should. <laughs> and also, it's a journey. Don't be too hard it on is. yourself. It like, is. It's a journey. It is. Yeah. And I feel like um the Dum Dim went like a bomb that all of us should have different traits that are amazing. Right. And the other one doesn't have mm-hmm. that trait. So that you appreciate your individuality individual mm. amazingness. Yes. And you realize you don't need to necessarily and I feel like comparing is the thing that steals mm. our mm-hmm. joy. I think we are like we, we forget that we're all in an exam room but writing a whole different exam. Yeah. Like everybody has their own paper. Mm. So me copying you or me comparing myself to you yet mm. we're given a different paper is wrong. Girl popping. <laughs> right? Oh my 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 cheeks are really <laughs> <doing it. laughs> like <laughs> I'm seeing it. 
I feel like also if you look good, you feel good and you exude confidence. Yeah. Even though it's not like a major requirement, but it's important to also look good. Yeah. So that you you you. So that the image you are trying to portray mm. to us is actually, or the, the the thought of yourself that you have in your head, yeah, is what is coming it's, through. Yes. So dress nicely, put on some makeup. If you don't like makeup, just make sure your face is fixed up. Right. You know. Yeah. And they just know that there's no other you. True. There's no one who has your qualities and your attributes. Exactly. exactly. So if you're not showing up. The world is missing one right, thing. Right. If you are not sure, or if you're trying to pretend to be something, yeah, or so, someone, own own yourself. There can never be another you. Another you. There can be people who do things like you, but yeah. they are not doing it like you. <laughs> when I'm seated like this, mm. look there. Mm. The light, the the points where the light, the light hits, hits my face. Mm. Here, here, here. Here mm. and here, mm. and if you're trying to be fancy, the lips as well. <laughs> oh, okay. But what would be your um your advice for people who probably don't feel confident without makeup and stuff? Like um, that? I will just say. Makeup who are feeling pressured to go, to go into, into makeup, makeup because ah, you know okay. mm. makeup is an accessory if you feel like psychologically you're not ready for it don't mm -hmm. but it's an accessory treat it like you would a watch mm -hmm. do you understand it's an edit on so before you use makeup or if you're scared you are beautiful without it mm -hmm. number one the effect because what makeup does is it just comes and highlights the parts of you that you like this is why we contour because it's not like when we use makeup, we are changing our nose mm. or my, my lips now. No, 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 no. It's, they're still the same lips. They yes. just have color on them. The brows are still mine. Mm. They just have more color or shape. Or, so if you're afraid of makeup, then I will say that um, there's nothing wrong with using makeup and there's nothing wrong with not using, using makeup. makeup. Mm. You are beautiful either way. Mm. If you can start there, you are beautiful. Mm. And if you feel like, hey, let me use lipstick, please do. Um, however, use a color that works for you, works with your outfit. Mm. Don't be like me, because half of my face is ready to wear a really <laughs> nice outfit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And down here, I'm all in sweats, but you understand. Mm. I'm going to put mascara on, mm. then when you f when you use your, your, your thingy to finish your look, mm. just hide, because my um, ears are... Really the weird things, of, yeah. Mm. Um, so what I usually do is I finish first and then come ka mascara okay. if I'm using it. Mm. Also, uh, if you're a person who likes, um, I don't know what is this thing using like a right. black liner mm. here on your brows. I maybe it's just me, but I've seen that when you use mascara, it also works as a except if you're going for cat eye, then mm -hmm. you'd want to do that mm. before. You. Also, if you're on a student budget, believe it or not, water works mm. to bring everything together. So what you can do is uh, uh, just make sure that your 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 hands are moist. It's just mm. pour a bit of water in your hands and you know do the whole movement, mm. and then just dab your face with the water, and then allow it to dry. It works it as works. well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not coming down It's not hard. I feel and like the hardest thing that can possibly go wrong is your eyebrows. And if you mm, get that correct... I feel like that's where I struggle. Thank you for also, your time. Thank Today you. I enjoyed your company. Thank you for having me. All things uh, confidence, all things beauty, all, all right. things makeup. Yes. Uh, 
this was another one thank you for joining us don't forget to like comment and subscribe, and subscribe. until next time <laughs> bye, -bye.